guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to review this 2025 Chevy Silverado Z71 with the Trail Boss package. So, we have this really nice bulkier front design. Blacked out Chevy emblems, our Z71 badging, we have these red tow hooks. And we also have our fog lamps which are covered by this bumper. So, it looks like really nice. So, like, uh, so, so like this like this like z71 is like made to be like more like in a budget friendlier compared to the zr2 but we still get all the goodies we do get magnetic mahogany right suspension we do have two extra extra inches of ground clearance these like 17 inch wheels we do have all train tires and we do have custom off-road suspension We have this really nice LED headlights, which are integrated with the main headlights. It looks nice. And this does have the 6.2 liter, which I will go over further. On the side, we have our Z Z71 badging. Our blacked out door handles, which also match with our side view mirrors. Blacked out trimming everywhere, so it gives it like a really nice look and then here we have the special off-road suspension and then this also has the exhaust which it sounds amazing which i will go over it in a bit we have our troll boss decal in the back as well so starting with the back we have this dual chrome exhaust and we do have a trailer hitch that's going to tow up to 8,000 pounds or blacked out Chevrolet badging and we also have the electric release tailgate as well which opens up to a 5 foot bed we do have built in LED headlights built in power Under the hood, we have this 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8. This makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque as paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission. This is a four-wheel drive. We also had slip differentials as well. Before we move on, I would really like to thank Chevrolet of Commerce. They like currently have like really like in high steals on like different vehicles, and then they are also offering free lifetime warranty on like on all new vehicles purchased. So starting with the interior, just like all new Silverados, is like really well made, really well thought out. The dash design itself, really nice design in the dash but since this is the LT uh, package so we it's not as good as the other trims like high country the LTZ and stuff but we still but we still get a leather wrapped dashboard some hard plastic over here but this is all leather wrapped and then in the LTZ which I reviewed it also had uh, leather over here as well so they did kind of a cheaped out with this LT trim but other than that it's pretty nice all soft touch materials and then so I'll on the left side we have our electronic parking brake and then our off-road controls our hold selector automatic headlights and then we do have three modes we have normal off-road and sport it does change how the suspension works and then how the exhaust works this does has the active exhaust package so it will automatically change how the exhaust sounds when you change uh, change the mode. So that's a really cool touch in it. So right now we're going to put it into normal. 
So now it's a normal. Just wait a few seconds. Okay, so now the engine, it feels like more quieter. I'm gonna try to floor it. Of course, it's a V8, you can still hear it, but it's like, it's just like, it's kind of like muffled out. And then now we're gonna change it into sport mode. Much louder, so it does has this package. And then I was told that it like was available in like most of the R2s, but it is in this truck. Um, and then we have this really nice gauge cluster, just like how we have it in the other t other Silverados. We also get the Trail Boss animation once we start up the vehicle. We do have adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, automatic braking, and all that good stuff. We do have our blacked out Chevy emblem, and then this instrument cluster is customizable. We can also like change the lay hey out how you went to it and then the animations look flawless. GM did like a really good job working on this display. And then in the center dash, we have our climate controls over here, trailer braking controls. And then we do have our lane keep assist, auto on start start button, also to open and close the rear uh, tailgate. And then we have this really nice 15 inch display. It does has a wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We have built in and built in Google. And then this only has the rear view camera, but the 360 degrees is also available. We'll, we get like two rear view cameras. Uh, one is just like a normal one and the other one is like 180 degrees downwards so like we can just like see our hitch clearly when we are putting on the trailer and then like a super cruise is also available and then it like also works while you are towing so that's a really good touch and then we do have built-in google maps is like in a way better upgrade compared to the factory nav because they get over the air updates traffic everything and since it is an android based auto sy uh, system it works really smooth really nice and then the other cool touch is that they did have a separate uh, just for the trailers app so like we can just add a new trailer accessory and then even like when we add everything, we can like still go over the checklist. So I'm just gonna do trailer one, new hitch type. So it will just like go through for me to go to like go through everything if you're like getting everything right and all that kind of stuff. And here is the checklist. So did you did everything right? Are you good to go? So it's like no, so it's like a really good infotainment system. We can open up another like thing on the side, another content, something else over here. Like even if I'm like messing around with the settings, I can still view the map. So GM did like a really good job with this infotainment system. And down here we have our gear shifter, which is in a really nice electronic control. We press the brakes into R. And this just brings up the 1080p rear camera. On the side, we have two USB ports, one USB-A, one USB-C, two cup holders, more storage here, storage here. We have this big center console. We do have a wireless phone charging pad over here. Big 150 watt charger. And more USBs over here, USB-C, USB-A, and more storage down there. Uh, starting in the back, I am six feet. I literally have another feet left. So really big truck, really comfortable, a lot of headroom. We do have two USB ports in the back, USB-C, USB-A. We do have our own air vents in the back. 
Unfortunately, these are not heated seats. They are available in higher trims, but not in the LT version. We have two more cup holders here. And, and we have two more cup holders in this small area in the back. Other than that, there's like nothing special in the back, but this is like a really nice family truck if you are like want to want like travel off road tow. It's like not everything this truck can do at like a fraction of the price of which the ZR2 and the other big trucks cost. Um, if you did find this video interesting, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And then please, if you can, support even more during our channel membership because it will like help us invest more money in our equipment and also in viewing vehicles. Thank you. Have a great day.